I decided I wanted to talk about some of the troubling trends I was seeing in America through the medium of a novel. Preferably an action-packed novel. You see, when I fly on airplanes, I like to pick up a book, which you got spies running around and they're shooting each other and there's wisecracks and I don't mind a laugh or two along the way. And of course, if you know anything about my resume, you know, as a stand-up comic, you know I enjoy a good joke. And I, I decided to put them all together in what came to be called People's Republic. Well, people liked it. People really liked it. Uh, People's Republic has sold a lot of copies in hardcover. Well, not hardcover. Oh, ich mach mich auf dem Weg zu einem Autohändler. Ein kleiner Volkswagen, der macht es nicht mehr. Here are the names for the travel docks, Turnbull said, passing over the People's Republic IDs. Jeff, said Ricky, looking at Turnbull's. You don't look like a Jeff, and privilege level seven. Nice. You got some sweet reparations going? They cost me enough till I got myself a grandmother from Ecuador put on my records. That cut my reparations tax in half. Fucking reparations tax. Chocho, there's nothing worse for a real stand-up guy mm. than paying what, what? you find out. <laughs> How long? Three hours, Ricky said. I'll drop them off to you at the bus station. Just be there when I roll up. I don't like that class of people. They slipped through the empty kitchen and out the back into the hot air of the alley. Over the top of the building they could hear some sort of commotion. Shouts, the occasional siren, and bullhorns demanding people disperse. They headed the other way and worked their way back to the former church. Turnbull stepped up the pace, crossing the desanctified sanctuary and taking the stairs up to the second floor. Fuck me, he said. <laughs> Junior saw why. The padlock that secured their room was still there, but the entire mechanism had been jimmied off the door. It stood slightly ajar. The room inside, dark. He put his finger to his lips and drew the silence to Twenty-two and a small flashlight. Slowly, Turnbull approached the door, then kicked it open and turned on the flashlight, which he held parallel to the pistol. Nothing. He cleared the room and the closet in a matter of seconds and came out. We got our shit. Ooh. Some of these damn lowlifes. Now we need to figure out who they are and where they went before they start digging through it. Turnbull put away the gun and walked across the hall to the manager's room. He pounded on it. Fuck off, replied the occupant. There was a peephole, a bit of light flickering in it. Fucking open it or I'm coming in. The door opened a half inch, secured by a chain. Turnbull threw his weight on it and it smashed the manager in the face. The chain anchor that had been ripped out of the jam swinging wildly. The manager stumbled back, grasping at his bleeding nose, hitting the rickety table by his cot that held his bong. It fell over on the floor. The noxious bong water. Noxious bong water. <laughs> noxious bong water. <laughs> I hope this becomes one of those oh like um, Ganja themed zombie movies. <laughs> like, but the noxious bong water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Noxious bong water. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Damn it. He moaned. Turnbull and Junior moved inside. Junior shut the door behind them while Turnbull grabbed the collar of the manager's scruffy Human Services t-shirt. Scrunched up in Turnbull's fist, it read, Hum Vices. Yeah, it really makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about set up and pay up. <laughs> Who stole that shit, asshole? <laughs> I don't. Hey, dipshit. I saw the peephole. Don't tell me you didn't look when you heard them breaking in. Who stole that shit? It was dark. Turnbull smacked the top of his head with the butt of the flashlight and made a loud thwack. Ow! Listen, Jesus. stupid. Now my shit's missing and I fucking want it back. So it's not his fault you're a fucking shit up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you had backpacks. All yeah. you had was backpacks. Just keep, Just them, keep them with, with you, you fuck. Fuck knuckle. Now my shit's missing and I fucking want it back. You tell me who has it and where to find them and your fucking head is going missing. You read me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Junior added. He's not kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he leans round the back. <laughs> yeah. He's not kidding. He will cut your head off and add it to his collection. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Okay, there's these two guys. Whitey and Blacky. Oh, fuck this. No, I think <laughs> oh, 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 we're getting into a dangerous territory. We are getting into a very dangerous territory. Oh my what, God. what are the odds that there's a black guy and a white guy? Yeah. And the black oh, guy's. Hey, oh, hold up. Let me, let me prepare myself for this radical idea you're about to put in. Mm. Go ahead. The black guy yeah. is called White. Oh, guy. yeah. And the white oh, guy God. is called Black. <laughs> oh, I love it, Kurt. You're a genius. I didn't think it could, but this is about to go downhill very quickly, isn't it? Yeah, very, very downhill. We need to get fucking seatbelts for these yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, one's white, the other's black. The manager nodded. Yeah, but whitey's African-American and blacky is... White, suggested Junior. Well, he's really more Latinx. Junior and Turnbull stared. You know, Hispanic. He also kind of identifies as trans. Right. I'm done. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. Fuck this. Ah. Your cable TV is experiencing difficulties. Please do not panic. Resist the temptation to read or talk to loved ones. Do not attempt sexual relations, as years of TV radiation have left your genitals withered and useless. Well, I'll be damned. You see what you've done? You see what you do to us? Okay, I got it. Where the fuck are they? I'm not... You better shit me, a location asshole. <laughs> oh my god, shit me, a location... <laughs> Why don't you just let me go talk to him, huh? I built this guy's mind. You don't think I can tear it apart? Just give me five minutes with him. Have him shitting in my hand. What? They go smoke out in one of the houses three doors down. Meth, man. They're meth heads. Fuck. That's all I know. We are leaving now. We won't be back. You need to forget we were ever here. Do you get that? Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean blotted from your memory. Can I rely on you to do that because you understand that I will absolutely come back here and beat you to death in this shitty little room with this flashlight if you even whisper one word to anyone about us? Is that absolutely clear? The manager nodded. His mouth was too dry to talk. <laughs> they walked through the old sanctuary with a purpose. Not looking at anyone. But neither looking away. These guys were whitey and blackies problem. No one else felt like making them their own problem. <laughs> it's such a natural, you know? Yeah. It's such a yeah. natural. He's taken to novels. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. <Dr. Yeah>. Seward. <laughs> It's been bad, but now yeah. it's like... I really think it's because the people who published it, they're only going to read the first 20 pages. Yeah, they basically okay. just go... Yeah. Yeah, there's words on every page. <laughs> <laughs> it's like putting the money on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah paper on the paper underneath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything we've read has been bad, but this is... Yeah, it's like there are like, times where he fuck? doesn't realise he hasn't finished. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but again, with the he went over to the manager's room and knocked on it. Yeah. So you don't Pounded knock on, on a room. Uh, yeah, you don't pound on a room. You pound on a door yeah. or possibly a wall. Yeah. But you haven't said yeah. wall or door yet, yeah. so the it yeah. doesn't mean anything. The only things you pound are doors, <laughs> maybe a person's face, and fanboys. <laughs> None of the houses on the street were still occupied by their actual owners. Many had left for the red when they found middle class folks were the designated bad guys in the People's Republic's mythology. Others finally got overwhelmed with the various reparations assessments for crimes that occurred a couple centuries before and lost their homes. When the church became a people's shelter, there went the neighbourhood, and that was the last straw. Turnbull and Junior went through the back yards, avoiding the street. It was easy enough. The fences between yards had long been battered through. The houses they had surrounded were wrecked too. The first one's windows were gone, along with the gutters and spigots. <laughs> Not the spigots! <laughs> Not the spigots! People hold nothing sacred. <laughs> the spigot bigots. <laughs> You could smell from across its yard that some of the locals used it as an improvised latrine. Yeah, that's shocking. You know how people often, you know, show too much? Especially, we've seen it again and again in these books, you know. The things that he keeps harkening back to, it's really disturbing, like, where his brain keeps going. Yeah, it's piss and shit. Piss and shit. And sweating grease. Sweat grease. Disgusting, filthy yeah. bodies writhing on each yeah. other. Yeah. Scarred, fucking yeah. sweaty <laughs> bodies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, oh, there's a lot of it's... psychosexual yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was an unstable looking garden shed too. They could hear snoring coming from inside. They entered the backyard of the third house by scrambling over a portion of the grey wood slat fence someone had kicked over. There were lights inside the house they could see from the back. The rear patio was piled with garbage. The sliding glass doors glass had long ago been a casualty of the mindless stumbling of an oblivious meth head. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> someone had nailed the edge of an old wool army blanket to the wall above it to act as at least something like a door. Turnbull carefully moved it aside, leading with his weapon. <laughs> he, was. he thrust his hips to move it aside. <laughs> there was candlelight flickering out of a doorway up the hall, and voices laughing. Holy shit, man, we got a gun. It's all in pieces. We can sell it. At the edge of the doorway, he paused and exhaled, relaxed. And spun into the room. Spun into the room. <laughs> the pirouette. Pirouette into the, uh, <laughs> fucking twinkle toes turn. <laughs> <laughs> they were sitting on the floor. One pack was open, and Whitey held the two halves of a broken down M4. They looked up, surprised. The front sight swung to Whitey's forehead first. Turnbull squeezed Not the trigger, and the gun kicked ever so slightly. The reporter mere foop and a soft click as the <laughs> action <laughs> cycled. <laughs> That is name. <laughs> the pieces of the carbine dropped into his lap and he fell awkwardly to his left, eyes and mouth open. Turnbull swung the gun to Blackie. Do not move. <laughs> Blackie sat still, eyes wide, mouth slack. Check the pack. Turnbull entered and moved left so his partner would not cross his line of fire. I think it's all here. Yeah. It's all here. Good. Turnbull shot Blackie about an inch above the bridge of his nose. The addict fell back against the wall and slumped over onto his face. Repack it and let's go. Wow, oh, that, that was nice. Badass. <laughs> yeah. He just murdered completely fucking yeah. defenseless people. That's yeah. good, isn't it? Love killing. Legend. Love killing drug addicts. Mm. They deserve it. So. Yeah. I mean, exactly. You can't feel bad because huh. they deserve yeah. it. Six. The bus sucked. Junior had half expected a nice coach with Wi-Fi, a bathroom and reclining seats. Instead, the bench seats covered in green vinyl were stained and sometimes slashed. It smelled like unwashed bodies and diesel. I said this, didn't I? I'm going to get the bus journey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Like, this keeps happening. Yeah. The bus hit another pothole. The jolt seemed to wake some of the passengers for a moment, but then their heads flopped back against the windows or against the jackets. They wadded up as makeshift pillows as they returned to half-sleep for however long until the next bump in the road. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Sitting in an aisle seat, Junior could see out the front window, past a bored driver whose crappy music was leaking out of his earphones as a tinny hiss punctuated by too much bass. <laughs> I love everything has to be bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The music's crap. Yeah. The Cut, sky okay. is rubbish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The worst clouds yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever contemplated that maybe you're just a miserable piece of shit? <laughs> yeah. like, the lights. The left one was noticeably stronger. Illuminated the road maybe 100 yards out. The yellow line running to the left disappeared, then returned, then disappeared again because no one had bothered to repaint it. It reminded Junior of Morse code. Dot, dash, dash, dot, dot. I bet you he's hidden a fucking little code in message. Yeah, and Trump oh. forever. Or yeah. <laughs> Make Mexico great again. <laughs> <laughs> they had gotten to the bus station on time, despite their deadly detour. That should be the title of the book. <laughs> Episode 4, A Deadly Detour. Ricky met them as planned, and Turnbull handed over the rest of the money. The travel docks worked. A bored security guard. Is this the second time he's described someone as bored in this like, paragraph? Yeah. Everyone, everyone's everyone's bored, sleepy. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. bored. Yeah. Everyone's on drugs. Everyone's yeah. drunk. Everyone hates everything. It seems like a fucking world inhabited exclusively by Kurt Schlichters. Yes. You know what I mean? You talk about self-insert and literally every character yeah, in it yeah. is him. The, the, the bald security is the so greasy, so. balding, fucking paedophile <laughs> security guard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If he fucking described a shoe, it'd be like... Yeah, it was grey-haired and <laughs> pop belly <laughs> the California <laughs> National Guard. Yeah, yeah. It somehow looked like it was crying. Yeah. <laughs> it was somehow divorced, despite... <laughs> 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 a bald 
Ford's security guards scanned them and they were a go. He waved them past and down to the buses. They loaded on time but left an hour late. This is riveting stuff. Yeah. A long hose had broken in the <laughs> cooling system and the bus driver had to wrap it a dozen times with duct tape. There were already two other taped up holes in the same hose. World building. Yeah. Vital plot developments occurring at rapid pace. <laughs> <laughs> the passengers were in no mood to talk. This was a purely utilitarian exercise. You left Vegas at night and got to Reno in the morning with minimal hassle. Most people tried to catch some shut eye. I'll tell you what, this is very different from coach journeys that I know, yeah. living in a wonderful capitalist yeah. nation. Everyone's singing and dancing, yeah, and drinking and champagne, yeah, and yeah. smoking cigars. Yeah. Being handed bundles of cash. <laughs> <laughs> The only noise was the loud clacking of the engine and the music leaking from the driver's earbuds. <laughs> music pissing. <laughs> from the greasy, bored driver's <laughs> sweaty earbuds. When they got pulled over at a checkpoint, Junior saw Turnbull's eyes crack just a bit. His hand disappear under his shirt. His shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the PSF officer was well aware of the essential shittiness of holding down the graveyard ship out on People's Route 95. Just another batch of surly, stinky people in a crappy bus in the middle of nowhere. Reno had never been a showplace city, but it was barely a city at all anymore. The high-rise casinos were closed. Many of the businesses were boarded up. The people on the street seemed listless and without direction. They did not seem to be going anywhere. Junior looked for one but never saw a single smile. Aww. The bumps and jolts from the ruts in the road shook their teeth and made sleeping impossible. They stared out the window. The Central Valley's legendary farms were gone. Once, settlers had merely poured the Sierra Nevada's bountiful water on the earth and the crops had practically sprung up overnight. Not sure it was quite that simple, actually. <laughs> they merely did, merely did that, did they? They merely yeah, did they that, merely yeah. They merely fertilised their crops with the blood of millions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the water was gone. The runoff of the snowpack that California's intricate system of dams, reservoirs and canals used to catch and store now ran out to the sea through the delta unhindered. After the split, Free from the constraints of the federal government, the new government had decided to fix what it saw as the mistakes of the past and had decided to restore the California that existed before any of its 40 million inhabitants' grandfathers had been born. They started tearing down the dams. Not all of them, to be sure. The Hetch Hetchy Dam, which fed the Crystal Springs reservoirs hundreds of miles to the west on the San Francisco Peninsula that slaked the thirst of the coastal elite stayed intact. But the others, the ones that stored water for farmers and for people in less exalted places like Modesto and Stockton, came crashing down to widespread self-congratulation. Turnbull and Junior watched the result pass by outside their windows. Miles and miles of burnt brown former farmland now reclaimed by the desert and towns abandoned and empty. That would never happen on the capital. No, capitalism no. is famously all about sharing. Yes, that's the point of yeah. capitalism. Equal, equal distribution yeah. of wealth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every few hundred miles, they passed a derelict vehicle. Sometimes a car. Sometimes a bus or a tractor trailer rig. Most had been pillaged. Their hoods propped up, and all the parts that could be carried away long gone. Taken by the scavengers who wandered the empty landscape of what had been the bread basket of the West. <laughs> the billboards, though, were all new. Replaced. Every Every few weeks, but rarely before some graffitist marked them with one of his. <laughs> Graffiti! Graffiti! Graffiti Lero! President de Blasio loves children, one said. The picture showing the grinning elderly president surrounded by eager, uniformed kids. <laughs> the graffitist, who knows where he got the purple spray paint, since such items were so hard to find in the government stores, had added an engorged appendage to the ageing president's photo that unwholesomely changed the nature of the love for children the text reference. It's a strange one, this Kurt. Here, it is a bit strange, <laughs> yes. I don't really want to read any more of this. Yeah. This is filth. No, no, like, I, I feel like I've accidentally stumbled onto the dark web. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, President de Blasio. Is that <laughs> Bill de Blasio? 
Is that who that's supposed to I be? I don't know. I no. mean, I have to assume that it is. So Bill de Blasio became president of the People's Republic. The, de Blasio is the, the current president. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was really hoping yeah. for a reference to President Sanders. <laughs> yeah. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Another billboard warned, The People's Republic stands against racism, sexism, denialism, transphobia, and Islamophobia. Well, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? Yeah. Fuck real, living there. A real foundation of a, an authoritarian <laughs> hell <state. laughs> The photo depicted a diverse group of angry young people, fists up, implicitly promising to unleash their wrath upon <laughs> those who fail to meet their exacting standards. Fists up what? Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> say where they The billboards were all posted on wooden frames. Metal would have been taken by scavengers for scrap within a matter of hours. World building. <laughs> the air conditioning was out, so the bus's windows were cracked as far as they could be. It was stifling. An old man sitting in the row in front of Turnbull was sweating profusely and had finally reached his limit. These buses used to be comfortable, he shouted. They used to work. Everything used to work. Shut up! said a bitter woman across the aisle who, under other circumstances, probably would have been fat. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting the sentence to end that way. I mean, it probably would have agreed or something, yeah, you know? Yeah. It probably would have been fat. What? You, well, what you're saying, for that irrelevant. Yes, yeah, what you're saying is, she's not fat. Because she doesn't eat yeah, very much. There's not enough food. But, but what you're saying is... Yeah, but she would have been. Yeah, if, if she have. ate an overabundance of food, if yeah, she ate was, too much, yeah, was, she'd be fat. Yeah. Well, I mean, that could be said about anyone, yeah. couldn't it? Again, just misogyny yeah, and he had, fat has, shaming. He's just, and, all he's been doing is just... Yeah. Blaming it's, all the yeah. victims. All these examples of victimisation that is supposed to make us feel that the People's Republic are terrible. But then he can't resist the urge to just so, be like, yeah. but I mean, all the people that are getting victimised deserve it yeah, anyway. Yeah, Fuck them, yeah. they're all scum, yeah. hate them too. And it's like, how different would you treat them, really? Would you just do like you did to Whitey and Blackie and just shoot them in the head? Yeah. So I feel like you probably would, wouldn't you, if you thought you could get away with it, you fucking cunt. I won't, the old man cried. I remember how it used to be before. It was good before. No, it wasn't. <laughs> the stores had food. We had cars. You old racist fucker, shut up, <laughs> the woman screamed. Shamed, the old man looked down. It was better before, he mumbled. I'm calling the police, the woman spit. The old man just looked down at his knees. There was a rest stop at 50 kilometres south of Stockton. Dust and litter blew across it before being carried off into the distance. The bathrooms were shut tight. Those so inclined could walk to a stinking ditch and do their business behind a rude screen of plywood. Feral cats wandered about, <laughs> wary of humans, gorging on the rodents. Anything wrong with me getting a taco? Well, what kind of meat is it? What kind? Yeah, what kind? You see a lot of cows around here? I do see a lot of kitty cats. I'm not that hungry. Junior took off toward the improvised latrine. They rode south for several long hours, the bus shaking and plattering non-stop as the driver seemed incapable of missing even a single bump or pothole. It's just such a fucking whining little bitch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So imagine knowing this guy. I guarantee oh, yeah. all he does is piss and moan about, yeah. oh, the journey here was terrible. Oh, the yeah. pilot was fucking awful. Oh, the food I had was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Such a fucking tough guy. Yeah. Unbelievable. Also, I do just want what exactly are you doing Kurt, to fix any of these problems? Is it Jack Fuck? I'm gonna go on a limb here and, and j are you actually contributing to making them worse, Kurt? <laughs> Is that the spoiler in all <laughs> A few miles south of Tulare, which was nearly deserted, there was a sign for the Corcoran State Prison and Social Rehabilitation Centre. <laughs> Most of the traditional criminal convicts had long since been released as victims of the racist prison industrial complex. Like I said, it's just self parody yeah. I'll be back. You can't keep the Democrats out of the White House forever. And when they get in, I'm back on the streets with all my criminal buddies. <laughs> The prison and the camp built beside it were now devoted to social criminals in need of re-education. The bus grew quiet as it passed by the sprawling penal colony. He's talking about basically political prisoners are yeah. all the only prisoners that exist now. For all intents and purposes, the vast majority of prisoners in American prisons are political Yeah, prisoners. well they're there because it's, they're black. Or yeah, they're exactly. They're, it's, it's, it, they're there to yeah. enforce 
the Nazi political yeah. goals of the American ruling elite. Yes. Might call them. They believe that those people should be eradicated, that they should have awful lives, yeah. that they should serve as a workforce, an unpaid workforce yeah. for their betters. No one has to even believe a thing for you to deem them as inhuman and subhuman mm. and needing re-education. They are just born slaves yeah. in your mind. I was just thinking actually earlier, you know, when he talks about the, the coastal elites. And yet he's a prominent Donald Trump supporter. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, it's, like it's almost like he's just talking shit. Yeah, it's almost like he doesn't actually believe anything. It's almost like no his, principles whatsoever. Yeah, it's like his mouth is just a fucking open drain. Yeah. They covered still more miles. Bakersfield was never a particularly pretty place even before the country split <laughs> apart. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, he's such a cantankerous, he's a miserable just a fuck, prick. isn't he? Like, he's such a joyless Fucking yeah. piece of shit. The fast food places that had once lured travellers were simply abandoned. Oh no, oh no, it's the end of the world. McDonald's is gone. <laughs> the bus wheezed and chugged as it began the long climb up Old Interstate 5. Now the Barack Obama Freeway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough, I'll give him that. That's oh, good. yeah, that is a good one. The faded signs promised Starbucks and Chevron and a host of other forgotten brands. Oh, oh no, not the brands. Real America. <laughs> the founding fathers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Starbucks and Starbucks, Chevron, yeah. Mexico. <laughs> God bless the USA. Another billboard came into view. Death to those who subvert the people's rule. It depicted a bunch of smiling kids gathered around the gallows. I like this one. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> gathered around the gallows. Oh, yes. Legendary. I want this so I think oh, we, we should, should get, get this get, made yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Have it, have <laughs> it, have it, have it, have it. Death to those <laughs> who subvert the people's rule. And yeah. a bunch of smiling <laughs> children around the gallows. <laughs> we can't sleep to Got yeah. for that. Fuck yeah. The former blue states had largely gotten rid of the death penalty for actual crimes <laughs> well before the split. Actual crimes, what, by which you mean what? Like smoking, yeah. cannabis. Drug possession. Yeah. Sex work, Well, look, look at what, how he's talked right. about like just smoking weed, like equivocating methamphetamine yeah. and cannabis. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about it. It's about selective enforcement. They don't care about drugs, any of them. We're talking about groups of people who routinely murder people and assassinate their enemies and launch coups against democratically elected governments. Nothing bothers them. No. It's all about selective enforcement. When he's talking about, you know, the real criminals and all this sort of stuff and the drug addicts and blah blah blah, what he means is poor black people. Yeah. Poor black people yeah. aren't being targeted by this government anymore. Which means society will crumble, like, they like goes post the neighborhood. Yeah, because now there's poor black people everywhere, and the deliberate imbalance is now been removed. Which is in and of itself for him the true inequality, because there must not be equality. I in love Nazis. Nazis. They're great lads. Yeah. <laughs> Without air conditioning, the atmosphere inside the coach was stifling. You've literally already said that <laughs> using that exact. Word. <laughs> yeah. Turnbull felt the sweaty skin of his arms stick to the vinyl. Seat back, peeling off slowly whenever he moved. The bus entered into the main cut of the pass, the grade steep enough to slow the bus to a crawl. There was a shudder, and then a stream of obscenities from the driver, and from under the front window rose a cloud of steam condensed on the glass. What's wrong? yelled a bald man sitting behind Turnbull and Junior. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> the driver shouted. To wait, everyone just suddenly is <laughs> yeah, 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 to yeah, speak to yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you're poor, and things are bad, everyone just goes, yeah, oh, yeah, I love yeah. you, scum, and they all just slit each other's throats with broken bottles, and it's like, but that's you, I'm sorry, that's you're yeah, not. that just isn't the case. Although maybe this is just how his family all talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, maybe he thinks this is just it. how people can be okay. Anytime he asks yeah. anybody yeah. what's up, fuck just off. Go, fuck, shut yeah. the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm sorry, but it's just not the case. Yes. There is deprivation, and yes, suffering causes people to sometimes see the worst in others. But where does charity come from? Does it come from Kurt Schlichter? Does it come from the red states? Does it come from conservative politicians? Mm. No, it doesn't. It comes from volunteers yeah. working in charities, working in grassroots groups. Usually, people who themselves yeah, have fuck nothing. all. Yeah, yeah. Again, not only does it make you view them as inhuman, it's also to create this sort of sense of hopelessness mm. for anyone who is listening. Yeah. For any lefty that yeah. is listening, you, there's you no can't hope. unite with You'll never because yeah, everyone don't hate exactly. It's all yeah. about the politics of division. Because the reality is, if that bus breaks down, everyone on that bus would get out and push, yeah. It, yeah. push that bus. Do you know how I know that? Because I've been on that bus. Yeah. And the bus yeah. has broken down, and we got out 
and we pushed the bus. I don't even know any of those people's names. People didn't even talk about it. They just got off the bus. We realized the bus was broken. It was stuck in a hole, hanging off the side of the road. And we all pushed it back onto the road. No one even said a word. It was just human nature to do it, to just help each other out. Mm. It's funny how you don't ever get that from a right winger. There's no mm. message of hope. There's no message of solidarity. Yeah. Actually, we're all just miserable, sweaty, greasy goblins. And we all just fucking shank each other over meth. You guys are cunt. You guys are fucking rotten cunt. Shut the fuck up, the driver. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> what a place to come back. <laughs> this could suck less, said Turnbull. <laughs> What's going on? What are you doing? The same man shouted. This time the driver ignored him. This is bullshit, swore another passenger. The hateful woman turned around in full scold mode. You shut up! You should be grateful we even have a bus. You think they have buses like this in the racist states? Fuck you, bitch, the bald man <laughs> responded. There aren't any cops here and I will fuck you up. Outside, another bus pulled to the shoulder in response to the driver's desperate waving of arms. Time to go, said Turnbull, standing up and making his way forward past the angry woman. She stared at him as if she were demanding his intervention, but Turnbull ignored her. The driver ran to the door of the rescue bus. It opened and he disappeared inside just as Turnbull and Junior exited their own. You're shitting me, he said as the other bus pulled back onto the freeway and began to climb the grapevine again. No way! Way. From inside the bus they could hear the passengers screaming and shouting at each other. There was a crash of glass. Someone had kicked out a window. Down the road was a pickup truck slowly grinding its way up the grade. Turnbull dropped his pack and stepped out into the freeway waving his arms. In his hands he held a stack of bills. More people were coming off the bus now. Inside it sounded like they were tearing out the seats. The blue Ford pickup probably from the early 2000s, slowed and stopped. The driver was in his 50s, with a dirty denim shirt and greasy hair. He really has a thing for yeah, it, doesn't he? He likes his men greased. Yeah. <laughs> he likes his men greased. <laughs> you want a ride, huh? LA, we've got a hundred. Four hundred. Each. Turnbull did not hesitate. Well, if you pay 400, you'll pay 500. How about 400 each and I don't rip your throat out and take your piece of shit truck? <laughs> he said pleasantly. There was a whoosh from the bus and inside a flickering orange light, someone had set <laughs> it on fire. <laughs> Why would they do that? They're stuck in the desert. Like, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, they they're, all have they're goblins. goblins. Like, you say they're, they're not people, they're aren't they? Goblins. They're, yeah. they're not people. The whole bus thing has just been a perfect encapsulation of his and really just the right in general is just completely misanthropic world. Yeah. Kurt Schlichter is a fucking mental case. Yeah. I guarantee you he was just in an asylum the whole fucking time. <laughs> right, I think he was in a cavalry yeah. fucking riding about on a wooden yeah, fucking horse. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking twin yeah. <laughs> yeah. He won the Civil War. Yeah. Yeah. Only God can stop us now. And it is my firm belief, Jeff. The Almighty is a summoner. Hallelujah! 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 Now the passengers were pelting it with shale rocks from the cliff face. <laughs> pelting it with shit. <laughs> <laughs> the pickup began to inch forward slowly, but then the frightened face of the angry woman appeared over the side, her hands gripping the edge. Let me in! She howled, trotting along with the accelerating truck. <laughs> I'm privilege level six! <laughs> I'm just, I'm really not clear, because obviously he doesn't understand the concept no. of privilege. He obviously doesn't get it, so his conception of how the People's Republic yeah, treats it yeah, is like yeah. doubly removed yeah, from yeah. reality. I'm really not clear here exactly how it's supposed to work, what I'm supposed to read into those numbers, because yeah, it's you're not so ex you cannot explain I don't, yeah. I mean, don't. <laughs> don't explain it. Yeah. I don't want to know. <laughs> if I don't know, I have no idea what the yeah. fuck you mean by it, okay? Your privilege level was useful for leveraging jobs, schools, and getting a residence inside a secured sector, but not so much when the government was not watching. Privilege levels were sold as similar to reparations. They were to be a way to remediate historical oppression and discrimination by creating a new hierarchy of the favoured to replace an alleged hierarchy of oppression that had largely faded away decades before. What did I just say, Kurt? Don't <laughs> explain it! I don't want to know! <laughs> alleged. Largely. Alleged that faded largely away. faded away. 
faded away while he's currently campaigning at the time yeah. of writing campaigning yeah. for a fascist yeah. dictator who attempted to seize power like a couple of years later I, I oh. know I don't need to go into how fucked up a thing that is for this man to have said after all of what we've just read fucking madness alleged Alleged, yeah. So it was alleged, but it had also yeah. faded away. So was it alleged, or, is it alleged it or is it gone? Which is it, Kurt? No, oh, that's weird. So it wasn't real, but it was real at the same time. <laughs> okay, that's weird. It's funny. It's almost like you're full of shit. Mm. The high would be brought low, and the low raised high, or something like that. It's like, yes, Kurt, I know you don't understand. Yeah, yeah. But that had only inspired more jockeying for oppression pole position. Did someone whose great 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 grandfather might have been a slave outweigh the oppression of someone whose great 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 grandfather might have been shot by Custer? What if your cousin had been a trans? sexual in the 1970s. That had to be worth something, right? And it's like, geez, no one, no one, no one yeah. has ever posited this. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's always projection, because it's like, no, Kurt, yeah. that's your that's side. Your, view, your cousin happened to be, you know, a fucking coal baron in the 1970s. Yeah. So you just so get, you to get whatever you want. Forever. The core of this particular argument is the hierarchies mm. as they currently stand, good or bad, Attempting to fix that would be worse than leaving yeah. it alone. Yeah. They have no problem with potentially hundreds of thousands yeah. of years of inequality that gets baked into our societies all the way down to the modern day. They have no problem with that just chugging along fine as it, as it was, because they're doing great. Yeah. The moment you start it, then suddenly they're a fucking anthropologist yeah. and a cultural critic, and suddenly they're a fucking theorist, and now suddenly there's racism everywhere, yeah. and now there's problems here, and whoa, slow your roll there, Sonny Jim. They don't have any such critical eye for yeah. society as it currently exists, but anyone that proposes we do anything yeah. to actually help those who are less fortunate than ourselves are, suddenly now slam the brakes, we need to take a close look here, buddy. So so of course he has to imagine a fake world in which a bunch of stuff no one wants to happen happens and everything goes terribly wrong to prove that he's right. Because he doesn't want to do what everyone else is doing, which is living in the real yeah. world <laughs> and critiquing things that are real and that actually fucking happen. You want to talk about alleged hierarchies? <laughs> This book is yeah, entirely yeah. <laughs> made up of alleged everything. It's all bullshit. It's all fantasy. Soon, everyone named O'Connor or O'Malley was claiming their ancestors had been brought here as indentured servants, and that this ancient injustice had to be worth a point or two on their privilege levels. Again, it's like, Kurt, you're writing all of this just to tell me something that I obviously already know, which is you don't know what the word privilege means when used in that context. Yeah, you're using all these words. Just to tell me that you're a racist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I already knew that. <laughs> Not surprising, as always, those with the greatest privilege prior to the introduction of privilege levels miraculously dominated the highest privilege levels afterwards. Rich people, movie stars, government workers in the West Side sector, they were the eights. Nines and even tens. In Compton and Inglewood, you might find a four, but he was probably only there to score drugs. So, I still, no, I still no, the privilege level apparently is, oh my god, yeah, Kurt, so, uh, Kurt, fucking stop with the privilege levels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you fucked it up. the record on the yeah, privilege yeah, level. The privilege level, level thing, it, it ain't working. working, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> you fucked it. Right? You could probably make it work, but it's not worth it yeah, anymore. But you'd have it's... to have any semblance of talent. Yeah. <laughs> Turnbull sat up, smiled gently, and offered his hand to Miss Privilege Level 6. Oh no, he's gonna sling her up As she trotted behind the pickup, she took his hand gratefully. He twisted hard, and she shrieked in pain as he forced her off her feet and left her sprawling on the asphalt. As she receded in the distance, Turnbull could see the old man coming up behind her, something dark and heavy in his hands. <laughs> Something he raised above his head and threw down on her as she lay there. Payback was as much of a bitch as she was. Wow. This guy is 
But yes, this guy is this guy irredeemable. Is so <laughs> yeah, irredeemable troglodyte. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, he's got a fucking murder kit in his fucking car. I guarantee, guarantee you, he has. I guarantee you, like his fucking hard drive is. Oh yeah. yeah you up, take yeah. poison damage if you touch. Yeah. His, <laughs> <laughs> his crescendo of the whole like humans are all dirty fucking skunk apes who all just want to eat each other. <laughs> culminating in his own misogyny. Yes. It's such yeah. a perfect yeah. demonstration of the ideology. It's, it's him. It's you, Kurt. You are the problem yeah. with everything in this book. It's yeah. that you are the one It's just like with everything in your life. You are the problem <laughs> yeah. with it because you're the one living yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. We can always, you know, sort that out yeah. in yeah. Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Minecraft's a perfect way of fixing it. Mm. Their driver knew the area well enough to pull off and take back roads past the northern Los Angeles checkpoint. Coming south into the San Fernando Valley, there were considerably more private cars, though derelict vehicles still lined the freeway in even greater numbers. There were more billboards too. Several offered the maniacally grinning and massively retouched visage of the elderly... Yeah, come on. <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Oh, Joe was... Biden. No. Hillary Clinton. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yes, you might say. Actually, don't, don't cut yeah, that bit out. Don't, don't. <laughs> That's not a hill I'm willing to die on. <laughs> Several offer the maniacally grinning and massively retouched visage of the elderly Hillary Clinton. Because yeah, yeah. she's fucking disgusting to look Not at. like Kurt Schlichter, he's no. such a handsome boy. Like his mum said he's really handsome. <laughs> yeah. The driver leaned back and cocked his head around, shouting through the cracked rear window. Where you want me to drop you? South Central, Korea Town, Sharia Town, Hollywood, Sharia Town. Sharia Actually Town. called Sharia Town. I think you mean Sharia. Sure, I do, Sharia obviously. Town. Sharia Town. You know that restaurant on Sunset and Gower? They call it the Rock and Roll Restaurant? Take us there. The pickup slid right into the exit to the old 170, which a sign announced was now the LGBTQ MCX. There's an asterisk. The LGBTQ exclamation mark MCX asterisk freeway. <laughs> I love I love all these new place names. Yeah. Like this They're is so exactly dumb. what we would have written <laughs> yes. if we were writing yes. a comedy. Yeah. I, like, I, I had not exactly thought to rename places. But yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. The LGBTQ freeway, like this. Oh my god. It did not provide a legend to help them decipher the acronym. That's funny though. That's mm. really funny. The LGBT, I'll help you here, Kurt. LGBT it says, let's go beat the fuck up. <laughs> 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 there were more private cars on the road than they had seen so far, but not enough for the kind of traffic jams that used to gridlock the Southlands roads. Some of the cars were quite new, many of them shocked by the privilege lane. <laughs> Where the old carpool lane had been. Privilege, Privilege lane. lane. <laughs> I take it all back, Kurt, you're a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> fucking privilege lane on a highway. <laughs> That's amazing. This guy is such a fucking dope. It's so <laughs> Who are they? Junior asked. Officials, movie stars, people with juice. Turnbull replied, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what? Look, Turnbull said, pointing back, there were many billboards with many messages, but Junior immediately saw the one that Turnbull meant. There was a young woman, blonde, smiling. It read, victory over the racist hate states. That's Amanda, Junior said. Looks like she's found herself a gig over here. They're making her do that. She'd never do it by choice. Uh-huh. When we find her, you just better be very, very persuasive. Now don't you fret. When I'm through, he won't set foot in this town again. I can be very... Very persuasive. Come on, leave town. No. Oh, I'll be your friend. No. Oh, you're mean. Yeah, well, people change and not always for the better. Just be ready, because you have no idea who she is anymore or what they have done to her. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. They got off at sunset and headed west. Many of the storefronts were shuttered. Junior noticed immediately the lack of advertising and logos. There just were not very many. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> he remembered learning in school that in the blue they saw having many different brands as economically inefficient. And of course all the food stores were nationalised. Each one they passed had a long queue of sullen people waiting to be allowed inside, except for one where the line was dispersing. A banner reading, no food today, hung across the door and bored workers stood around inside. <laughs> Why would nationalising food stores yeah. cause queues? The food disappeared. Yeah, exactly. The moment they ticked the nationalised yeah. box, yeah. All the food just disappeared out of the way. Especially, yeah. obviously, it's this idea that it's like freedom, isn't it? That freedom yeah. is having several different brands of cola on the shelf. Yeah. It's like, what difference, difference does that really fucking yeah, make? In the People's Republic, you have two or three brands for whatever, for everything. And in the United States of America, you have 27 brands of, of any given thing. Each one of which is ultimately oh, yeah. owned by yeah. one of three yeah. mega corporations yeah. that owns everything. And it's yeah. just like... It's Nestle. It's, an it's an Nestle. It's owned by Nestle. Yeah. <laughs> it's an illusion. Kind yeah. Of. You think think they're like competing brands yeah. because that's the illusion yeah. and you think you have this freedom of choice because yeah. I can choose this one or that one yeah. or this one and it's all owned by the same company and all that money is going to the same person. Yeah. You know and it I mean? probably is the same ingredients in the Yes, product. yeah. Yeah. The more I can buy, the freer yeah. I am. As it, yeah. it, it, and that is, yeah, that's consumerism, isn't it? Your political yeah. Yeah. views. Yeah. The pickup pulled into the parking lot of what had been the Denny's. It was now called simply cafe but you could see underneath the surface and the peeling white and red paint job its origins as the popular chain restaurant they still existed back home a few weeks ago he had gotten himself a grand slam breakfast i can buy a grand slam breakfast at denny's and that makes me free i can buy the grand clan breakfast <laughs> at denny's <laughs> Like, Denny's literally wouldn't serve black people for decades. Oh, fuck, was that Denny's? Yes, that's oh, Denny's. That's why it's no. the Superlease pick. Because it's the most racist of oh, the I was wondering why it was Denny's, you know? <laughs> yeah. They were the guys oh. that refused to serve Bill Clinton's Secret Service team. That's when right. they came to yeah, pick up for his yeah, order. Yeah, yeah. Which is illegal people. as fuck. Fuck! Yeah. Oh, oh, we're all just doing such things that so much yeah. progress yeah. has been yeah. made. Mm. Every day they chip away. Every yeah. day yeah. they're yeah. yeah. working yeah. to undermine yeah. it and to destroy yeah. it. Right on time, Turnbull said without elaborating. <laughs> 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 he leapt out and pulled on his pack. <laughs> <laughs> Along the perimeter of the parking lot, which was largely empty, there were crude tents and shelters. The denizens looked over the pickup truck sullenly. So the, the, the denizens was that? The, den <laughs> <laughs> the denizens. The denizens of the denizens. It smelled like it was a popular field expedient latrine. He is obsessed it's just stop with about piss bodily and fluid. <laughs> And filth, yeah. and grime, grime and, and grease and shit, scars and, and it, yeah, it, it, yeah. Ugh. yeah. It's like a John Waters movie. At this point. <laughs> 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 he's he's, he's yeah. shadow John Waters. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There was no hostess. You just found a seat yourself and sat down. A crudely drawn sign made of cardboard warned, If you don't have your rap card, don't bother. I said, Why put that in there? If you don't have your rap card, don't bother. It's like, oh yeah, because on the other side, they're just like, Oh, if you don't have any money, don't worry, just eat for free. Yeah. As he's famously yeah. said already, yeah. hasn't he? <laughs> Everyone eats for free. Yeah. You don't have to work yeah. to eat. The famous saying of the Red States. <laughs> the place was hardly full, even at the dinner hour. The dinner hour. A couple of waitresses, one with a mohawk and the other a blonde who looked like she'd seen far too much use. Oh no, just just that, just for, oh, that's horrible. Oh, the way he talks about people, I mean, it's yeah. mostly women. Yeah, but people in general, people just, yeah, they, no yeah. one is spared. So I feel like I just stepped into a misogynistic bear trap, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I was not, I didn't see that coming at all. A couple of waitresses, one with a mohawk and the other a blonde who looked like she'd seen far too much use stopped gossiping long enough to check them out. You got cards, snapped the one with worse hair. You're yeah, just being a nasty yeah, piece of shit. Cunt. You're just a horrible, and you think it makes you horrible cool person. And funny. You think you're a stand-up comedian. Yeah. No, you're just nasty. Yeah. You're a pathetic little man who feels that he is not enough. Yeah. You feel absolutely um, inadequate. inadequate because you sort of served in the military. Well, That's and, and because he because he is inadequate. <laughs> and yeah, and because he is because he's made a fair estimation yes, of himself. Yes, yes, That's why. yes. <laughs> because he is completely inadequate. Yes, that is that is a good yeah. point. What a horrible little bastard. They sat 
The noise from the TV was distracting, and a young Hispanic announcer began reading a prepared text. The People's Assembly has announced that the minimum wage has been increased to $55 per hour effective today. By contrast, in the racist states, the rich continue to prosper while the poor and the working class fall further behind, which Judging from yeah, what I've seen, nothing, is true. nothing to suggest yeah. otherwise. They call us the racist states, among other things. They never call us the USA. I mean, that's because you're technically not, are you? I mean, the USA yeah. was, <laughs> yeah. was, was one like, thing. Uh, you're another. Do you you'd see have that? to be like the SL USA, the slightly less. <laughs> <USA>. <laughs> An older man, maybe 50, in a brown suit coat that had been carefully patched in several places, he held a paperback book open about halfway and was nibbling a piece of bread as he read. There was a commotion out in the street, a group of maybe a half dozen men at an intersection on sunset trying to pull the driver out of a food delivery van. It never yep. stopped, yep. nothing. If a flower grew out of the ground, someone would come. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. The most unending misery yeah. I've ever seen. If they're not robbing each other, they're stabbing each yeah, other. They're not yeah. stabbing each other, they're burning something. Yeah. If they're not burning something, they're doing math. If they're yeah. doing yeah. math, they're fucking uh, attacking a police yeah. cruiser. Yeah. They're greasing it's, themselves it, yeah. up. <laughs> It's absurd. Nothing good ever happens and no one has ever been happy in the People's Republic. Who hurt you, Kurt? I'll fucking hurt. <laughs> yeah. It's getting ugly. The old man was sitting in Junior's seat, the book on the table underneath his folded hands. It's been ugly for a while. Not like this, though. Can you feel it? People are hungry. Hopeless. You can get arrested for talking like that, mister. Not if you talk to friends. Friends are in short supply these days, replied Turnbull. I'm a friend of Abraham. <laughs> Which one? More than one, as it happens, but Abe Lincoln is certainly one of them. Well, you look like your picture and you said the magic words. What now? Junior returned, puzzled, the toilet paper roll in his left hand. Who's this? Junior asked. A good friend. His name is... What's your name? You can call me David. Get your stuff, Junior. We're leaving now. The worn-out hostess watched them step out, holding a cup in each hand. You don't want your coffee? Crisis of conscience, Turnbull replied. I can't drink coffee while the polar bears are melting. You can see his years of honing his stand-up yeah. craft yeah. And coming into play here. <laughs> How far? Turnbull asked. David shrugged. Not too far. They turned north on a side street lined with old apartment buildings. Interesting juxtaposition, Turnbull observed, looking at a poster stuck on a teetering wooden fence. It featured the Star of David on fire and the words Smash Zionism, and across it someone had spray-painted GD Rules. Somebody had a little fight left in them, Junior said. Yes, a little, David said. A shape rushed out of the bushes and tackled him onto the dry patch of dirt between the sidewalk and street. Four shapes followed, preparing to face Turnbull and Junior, but they were too late. Turnbull's pack was already falling to the ground thanks to the quick release on the shoulder strap, even as he was accelerating into a run. <laughs> they were in their late teens, maybe early twenties. Again, more children for yeah, him to kill. to kill. The sight of Turnbull charging them simply did not compute. People were supposed to run away or beg for mercy, and the second of indecision as they tried to figure out how to respond cost them dearly. Turnbull punched the closest one in the throat, the force multiplied by his 200 pounds moving at a sprint. The thug went down, gripping his throat, gasping. Turnbull was past the other two, who simply stood gaping. Turnbull stopped, turned on his heel, and charged back. They broke and ran. <laughs> Yeah, see, if they messed with someone like Kurt Schlichter, yeah. they wouldn't know what yeah. to do. All the gangs come and pay tribute yeah. to him and give all of their wealth and cars to him out of sheer fear. He ran at you? <laughs> what do you do when that happens? I don't know. I've only been in dozens of fights yeah. I grew up yeah. on the street. I only I grew up yeah, doing I only, this. Yeah. The punk who tackled David did not notice any of this. He was too fixated on his victim. Junior grabbed a hunk of greasy hair... <laughs> and yanked backwards. Now, I don't know if it's his own hair or if it's yeah. someone else's hair. I don't know what's happening here. Pulling the punk off. <laughs> what it says. Well, I'll be honest, I'm not surprised mm. to hear that. Oh my god. Pulling the punk off to the rear and laying him out flat on his back. <laughs> <laughs> the punk looked up in terror <laughs> as Junior's boot came down heel first on his gonads. <laughs> gonads. 
He screamed like a little girl, a harbinger of things to come, considering the damage Junior did to his testosterone farm. In the meantime, Turnbull dispensed with the one he tackled with a kick to the face that shattered his jaw, spewing blood and teeth across the concrete. Satisfied the enemy was gone or incapacitated, he extended his hand and pulled David to his feet. We need to go, said Turnbull, and they left the three rolling, groaning thugs behind. Chapter 8 there was a metal sign at the corner that read Neighbourhood Watch in effect. Underneath was a crudely rendered male member spraying the word watch with some unspecified but readily identifiable He fluid. is absolutely obsessed. <laughs> yeah, this is non-stop. Doesn't end. Never end. Piss, shit, it's blood, just... cum, anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just one long fucking slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> slip and slide, Schlechter. Slip and slide. The neighbourhood watch concept had changed significantly since the split. Before, it involved neighbours reporting to the police on suspicious criminal behaviour by outsiders. That's an interesting, <laughs> interesting term, yeah. Isn't it? Now, designated residents reported to the PBI on the activities of other neighbours. This guy is like a satirist. He describes a crudely rendered male member spraying the word with some unspecified but readily identifiable fluid. That's him. He is the cock spraying. Mm. I'm not going to specify exactly what the fluid is, <laughs> but we all know what yeah. the fluid is, yeah. don't we? <laughs> and here it is by outsiders. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah, specify yeah, yeah, what yeah. I mean by that, but we all know what I mean, yes, yeah. don't yeah. we? They crossed the street to a weathered multi-story apartment complex. They waited for David to find his key, which he did after a few moments. <laughs> Very well written. Oh god, the suspense is killing me. The gate creaked open. Could have used a spritz of WD-40 oh if that had god. been available to regular people anymore. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you cannot stop. Oh. <laughs> He's gone, folks. <laughs> Now all the gates creak. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, come on. Every bird that flies over shits right on you. It always hits you every time. The corridor led through the width of the building to a central courtyard, which was entirely enclosed on all four sides. There were trees and grass, though most of the interior was taken up with a garden where kids played, laughing and running, out of sight and safe. The men wore kippers. Welcome to our home, David said, pulling a skull cap from his pocket and fitting it on his head. We're Jewish, he said <laughs> helpfully. I didn't think any of you were left, Turnbull replied. Oh my god. A boy of about 14 ran up and hugged David, then looked at the strangers. My son, Abraham. I think we're already friends, Turnbull said, extending his hand. The boy took it cautiously and shook firmly. The apartment was up three flights of stairs. It was modest in size, but comfortable and warm. The first such place they had experienced since Utah. And there was food. Rice with some chicken and boiled water. No one drank straight from the tap. The visitors ate it gratefully. Both understood how, as guests, they were certainly eating better than their hosts. Just curious, but how do you keep kosher? Turnbull asked. The kosher butchers and grocers had been targets early on of the anti-Zionist protests. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Just bite your tongue, take a deep breath. And we'll try and get through this together, everybody. <laughs> At least the government called them protests. Pogroms was more accurate. But I thought communism was a Jewish conspiracy. Shh, Joe, don't worry about it so much. Just don't worry about <laughs> it. Okay? See, but listen, Joe, I'll let you know. <laughs> you and me, we're men of the world, okay? <laughs> It's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Marx was Jewish. <laughs> Lenin was Jewish. But in this version, but we're actually, actually oh no, the, the Jews point. are the ones yeah. that are rebelling against the communist yeah. takeover, yeah. and it's the racist Republican red staters yeah. who are oh, they? They go into these secret rooms where there's Jews. Oh wow, I love so you guys. Finally, oh wow, finally some racists and Nazis yeah. whom yeah. we love. <laughs> We do what we can, David replied. This is nothing new. In fact, what it was before in America, that was something new for us. We could live openly, our own way, not bothered, not frightened. This is how our ancestors live, so we can't complain. We thought it would pass, 
Some of us even welcomed the split. They thought it would make us a fair and more just society. After all, you red people were supposed to be anti-Semites and anti-black and anti-everything else. When they ended the religious tax exemptions, we lost our temple to the state. Most of the Christian churches were foreclosed too. Only a few are left. The ones they wouldn't dare not give exemptions to. Black churches. Oh, some fuck Catholic me. churches in the Latinx areas. But the ones in the suburbs. All closed down. Poor suburbs. Yeah. Devastated yeah. suburbs. There's still one temple left in Beverly Hills, so we couldn't get there even if we wanted to. The Jews who declared themselves non believers still go and play at Judaism on the high holidays. No prayers, no Torah, no Lord. Less a temple than a social club. The rabbi would probably eat bacon cheeseburgers if there were bacon cheeseburgers anywhere. <laughs> 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 this is so fucking embarrassing. I've read some shit in my time. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, man. He had almost lost me. Yeah. I was almost... Genuinely, um, just, yeah. just, just not even listening anymore. Yeah, just when you thought, just, you yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> what a line! What do you do? Asked Junior. Whatever we need to do to survive: buy, sell, trade, perform tasks for our friends on the other side. Ghosts. <laughs> 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 and then there's something I have to give you to take back. The hard drive. The hard drive. It was very hard to get to. <laughs> it was very hard. It was a very hard <laughs> drive to the place I had to yeah, collect yeah. this hard drive. It was very hard, but I managed to drive it. <laughs> oh, spit. <laughs> and the PBI is looking for it. So. Which is why it is not here. We can get it on the way out, but we need to find our target first. And who is he? She. His sister, in fact. You might have seen her. Blonde, on billboards, maybe on TV. We're not much on television here. Too much talking about how things are wonderful and we and everyone else they hate are terrible. What's her name? Amanda Ryan. We think Los Angeles. Where? We don't know. Powerful men like pretty girls, if you see what I'm saying. Junior glared. She's not a whore. I didn't mean that. It's just that we all use whatever we have to survive. If she is on billboards and television, then perhaps she is running with the crowd in the secured zone. The rich people. The powerful ones. It can be hard to get in there. We need to find out where she is first, said Turnbull. We have a man, Jacob, who works in the PBI center downtown. He can find out. Isn't he a little conspicuous? He doesn't wear his kipper and eats whatever they put in front of him. He passes. It's a sacrifice, but we all do what we have to. Now, what do we need to pay you? Pay us? David was confused. Yes, you're taking a risk. How much money do you need? No, you don't understand. We have an arrangement. You're a small part of it. But after we help out here for a while, your people over there will get us all out. He patted Abraham on the head. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> who did? Who patted Abraham on who? Oh, David did. His dad. Yes, just, that's okay. Yes, I yeah, yeah. I it thought was it was terrible. terrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this idea that right wingers are traditionally they're so in tight yeah, with they Jews. They love Jews, and that left wingers hate yeah. them. It's like no, you love. The Israel. State of Israel. Yeah. You, you, you love oppression. You love yeah. Muslims when it's run being by, killed. Yeah, when it's run by racist mm. politicians, that's it. It's something I'd ev like, I can't get it over. It is sickening. It. It's yeah. like you're literally accusing anyone on the left yeah. of being anti Semite yeah. yeah. when you are a follower of Adolf Hitler. Yeah. When you are a Nazi. Like, I've never wanted to punch one of these authors so much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah this is really rough. Yeah. <laughs> All of you? How many are you? Asked Turnbull. Twenty-seven. And a half. We have a pregnant lady. That's our deal. We help your people here. They get us all over there. That's a hell of a price. Turnbull's mind began running through the logistics of getting twenty-seven and a half people over the border. We do a hell of a job helping people like you. Now you need to rest. Turnbull nodded. And they followed young Abraham to an empty apartment where they quickly collapsed into sleep. End of chapter. Aber leider fehlt mir das Geld auf Fee und so bleib ich halt bei meinem kleinen VW. Hab gerackert den ganzen Sommer lang. Doch der Verkäufer meint, ich bin nicht mal nah. Neue 
meinst, das ist ein toller Schlitten, dann passen wir alle rein und das ohne Bitten. Doch mein Babe sitzt immer nah bei mir, oh je, me, me. Und so bleib ich halt bei meinem kleinen VW. Doch Babe sitzt immer nah bei mir, oh je, me, me. Und so bleib ich halt bei meinem kleinen VW. Kleinen VW. Yeah. <laughs>